So, Anthony, explain for people what happened, because you were filming an episode of Parts Unknown in, in Iran. You interviewed these two people. You said they were great, and th th there's no proof they did anything wrong. Yeah, I mean, for the life of me, uh, this... I'm not naive about Iran, uh, but I, I was really surprised by our reception there, which was very positive and, and extraordinarily friendly. And I met these two wonderful people, uh, Jason and Yaganai, and and they they were so positive about their about their country. Um, I think there was just not a hint of anything that could cause anyone in any government to find fault. One would think. So it's just beyond me uh, what they could possibly have done to to bring this uh, on themselves. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, they were fantastic ambassadors for a uh, little understood uh, a country. And, and that's the thing. I mean, they talked about some of the difficulties of living there, but overall, we're, we're, we're quite positive of what they said about, uh, about Iran. These are two people who are very proud of their Iranian heritage, uh, very proud of their country, uh, who, if anything, uh, did their best uh, to make uh, an, under, an American with predictable views of that country understand the context, the history, the bigger picture. I mean, these were two lovely... I mean, I, I'm not a Middle East expert. I'm certainly not an Iran expert. I can only say that I met two, you know, from my heart, I met two wonderful people with very positive attitudes about Iran. The New York Times is reporting they were arrested as part of a ploy by hardliners to basically embarrass and weaken the more pragmatic Iranian president. Do you think their speaking with you could have had anything to do with or, or made it them more visible targets? I really, uh, believe me, I've thought about it. Um, understand, we were, we were treated very, very well. First, just walking down the street in Tehran was a very... Uh, surprising uh, situation. Everybody was lovely to us. Without cameras, with cameras, we were, when people found out we were American, everyone was lovely to us. Even the people, the representatives we met from the government, uh, at the, the ministry who, who had to approve, all, you know, our presence there, uh, they were very congenial and very helpful. So there just wasn't, there wasn't a shadow of that kind of thing that, that we really felt. I mean, we were aware but we just didn't feel it at that time. We're, I, I, I've thought about this many times since, since they were taken. Uh, I, I, I really hope we had nothing to do with it. I, I can't imagine we did, but I couldn't have imagined that this would have happened either.